Welcome back to The List, I'm Donna Rucco. Pumpkin patch season is starting to wind down, so you better get those adorable family pictures taken before it's too late. Erin Christie has the top three things you need to know around Tulsa. At number one, Pumpkin Town. The South Tulsa staple is prime for great fall photos. Say cheese. I cringe a lot when I'm looking through my friends' news feeds on Facebook. <laughs> Pro Rebecca Eubanks of Artworks Tulsa says the lighting is the biggest mistake people make. Cell phone users don't use the flash and cloudy days are ideal. Because the light's even, you can pretty much do anything you want. Avoid the middle of the day. If it's sunny, choose one of the indoor barns. Since I'm standing up and he's sitting down, would you get down on the floor with him? No, I would come right above and have him look at me. And toddler parents? Say cheese! Avoid that cheese thing. There comes a stage in every child's life where that turns into this. <gasps> Tuesday on the list, advice for newborn pics. Number two, Oktoberfest hangover? Never fear, T-Town is slowly becoming a brewery hub. Dead Armadillo Brewery, the latest to move from a house garage. This is where the magic happens to new facilities at 4th and Madison. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens, Tony. As opposed to maybe 30 barrels a month, we'll, we'll be doing a, you know, 120 to 150 barrels a month. The brewery in the renovation stages will include a tasting room and patio. And to be so close to downtown, it's kind of a cool view. And number three, the Flaming Lips turned cover band? At least for its latest album, with a little help from my friends, is a daring attempt by the legendary OKC band to cover the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's album. NPR got a first listen. The new album available October 28th. Now, you are caught up and clued in around Tulsa.